Arabs in the Judea and Samaria. Recently, I presented to the Prime Minister and to the Political Security Cabinet the Sovereignty Plan. This Sovereignty Plan, perhaps you it maybe did pick it up on your way here. According to the Sovereignty Program, the State of Israel would have a gradual sovereignty over the Israeli parts of Judea and Samaria, in other words, the sea territories, wherein 400,000 Israelis reside and only 70,000 Arabs, while creating a kind of upgraded situation with complete free movement and mobility for the Arabs that be able to leave Janin, go to Hebron, without going through any roadblock on the, on the way. The first implementation phase would be first in Gush Etzion, in the Etzion block. Ladies and gentlemen, can anyone say that Gush Etzion is a, an occupied territory? After all, it was ours even before 1948. The, stor the story of Ruth and Boaz that we read at, and the feast of the Harvest Festival and we read Ruth's scroll. Can anyone say that we have no right to settle there, ladies and gentlemen? A, per a person does, is not a conqueror in its own land. But people will say in the world out at large that they do not recognize our sovereignty. So what? Does what the, what the world thought stop Eshkol actually put, um, creating sovereignty after the Six Day War? Can you imagine, in Jerusalem, can you imagine the world, Israel without the Wailing Wall, did anyone stop um, Menachem Begin actually putting sovereignty over the Golan Heights? No, the world will get used to it over the years. After all, the Gush Etzion plan as a first stage was not a punitary method against the, or unilateral steps against the, the Palestinians. It is simply a moral truth as a derivative of the understanding that if it is your country, then you have to act in order to preserve and conserve it. The Oslo Accord agreements have failed time and time again. Israel must do the best for the benefit of Israel and therefore to actually create sovereignty so that there would be a territorial contiguity um, over if we're talking about the REL block, Malé Domim and the entire Israeli settlement in um, Samaria and Judea, slowly but surely.